Genesis 3 and it says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. God had said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall he touch it, lest he die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took off the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sued fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree, whereof I commanded thee, that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me. She gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman. And between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband and ye shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearken unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it, all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, 
and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also, and to his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skins, and clothed them. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden, to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims, and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. Here ended the reading of Genesis 3. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let's pray. Most righteous and eternal Father God, Hallelujah, Jesus. The serpent went to the lady, Eve, and told her to eat of the fruit of good and evil. She ate the fruit and she gave it also unto her husband. Hallelujah. And he did eat also. And he sinned. And after he sinned, hallelujah, he knew good and evil. Hallelujah. And he had to work hard from then on. And the lady became the mother of all living persons. Hallelujah. 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 The mother of all living persons. All living persons, including me. Including me, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Most righteous and eternal Father God. You know, sin was formed when the woman and the man, which are my four parents, way, way, way back, God, in the name of Jesus, according to your word, according to your word, hallelujah, hallelujah, in sin did my mother conceive me. Most righteous and eternal Father God, wash me afresh with the blood cleansing blood of the Lamb, Christ Jesus. Purify me, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Wash me and purify me daily, minutely. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Wash me and I shall be clean. Hallelujah. Purify and sanctify me, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you that you knew that she and her husband was going to eat of the fruit of good and evil. And in your word, you said that, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, the head of the snake shall be crushed. Hallelujah. Father God, you crushed the head of the snake. Hallelujah. Christ Jesus came. Hallelujah. And paid it all for me. For me. Hallelujah. He paid it all for me. Hallelujah. Father God, 
we thank you that you are a forgiven God. And you are the provider, hallelujah, in spite of what we do. In spite of what we say, God. We thank you that we can come to you and repent, hallelujah, and not stay in the situation, hallelujah, that we find ourselves in constantly from day to day, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Even though our four parents act sin, God, it does not justify sinning, hallelujah, perpetual sins. No. But we thank you still, God, that we can come to you and ask for forgiveness and you hear us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Touch us in whatever circumstances that we are in. Purify us, God. Hallelujah. Purify our hearts. Touch our hearts, our mind, our body, our spirit, our being, our intellect. The things that we desire, touch it, God, to be of what you ordain. Hallelujah. According to your will and your purpose. Hallelujah. Most righteous God. Hallelujah. We just want to thank you that you are a loving God and that you are a forgiving God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah. Help us, God, in everything that we do say. Hallelujah. That we come across from day to day on the jobs, in the home, in the family. Hallelujah, God. The people that we meet. Hallelujah, God. Help us, Father God, that we do what's right. Hallelujah. Because sometimes the agent, Satan, come in all different devices. Hallelujah. He came to the lady and told her to eat of the fruit and her eyes shall be open. Hallelujah. He comes in our lives, God, from day to day as different things. Hallelujah. Different things, different ways, just like he did of the days of old. So, Father God, we are asking you to protect us daily that we are wise to the things and the craft that he comes with, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, God, to choose and to do what's right. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to hear your voice and not the voice of the evil one. Help us to do your will. Hallelujah. Touch everything that we do. Everything that we say. Everywhere we go, God, go before us, God. Go before us and clear the way. Hallelujah, God. Tone it down, the voice of the evil one. Tone it all the way down that we cannot hear the evil one's voice, God, and that we can hear your voice. So when we go, whatever we do, we hear your voice and do what is right, God. Turn down the volume of the evil one, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and turn up your volume very loud, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, so we can do what's right constantly, so we can say what's right. Hallelujah, from day to day, minute to minute, God. Help us if we're in the situation where the enemy's voice is loud, God, that you talk to us and that we respond to what you say or what you are saying unto us. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, help us, God, in the name of Jesus, to see what you want us to see and hear what you want us to hear and do what you want us to do in the mighty name of Jesus God we thank you God as we go from day to day continue to cover us continue to protect us continue to wash us afresh in the name of Jesus through the blood of Jesus wash us afresh God because if it had not been for you on our side Hallelujah. When the enemy came up on us like a flood, God, you set up a standard. Hallelujah, God. Anoint us, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, God, that you are loving, God, and that you are forgiving. A forgiving, God. And God, whatever situation we find ourselves in, 
God, help us to know that you are forgiving, God, and that we can come to you, God. Because Adam and Eve were hiding. And in spite of you knew that they were hiding, in spite of that, you went and you even clothed them with clothing. Hallelujah. You provided the clothing for them. You provided a way for them in the midst of what they're going through. You were there. Hallelujah. You were there, God, in spite of their sin. You forgave them. Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you provided clothing and food. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just want to thank you for providing food and shelter and being our protector. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You provided herbs for them, God. And God, you know, sometimes we are praying, God, and we see things. Hallelujah. After we read the word, help us, God, tone it up more higher so we can understand what your word is saying, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, God, that you are a loving God and compassionate God. And we thank you and praise your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.